Hi everybody. Here we got the Nihon Koten defibrillator. And I'm gonna turn it on. Yes. Works as new. Yes, here with a waveform, like an oscilloscope or something. Oh, what's happening? Yes, I did that. Here we got the laser. And that's pointing to a photoresistor. And that photoresistor it's connect is connected to the defibrillator through this wire or cable. Yes, and that thing there goes over to the uh, photoresistor. Yes, it works. So it's like a oscilloscope. And yes, here we got the ranges for the uh, energy selection for the high voltages come out of this. Got the charge button there, and we got the off discharge. So you need to push that one and that one to get a shock out of it or a pulse yes you can record as well so let's put the pulse up there hmm, I need to do that while I'm doing giving that pulses Yes, I'll shut it off and take a look inside it. Let's take a look inside. See it is. Lots of awesome electronics. Lots of analog boards. And an identical capacitor. Exactly the same. Same capacitor. That one is just made 89 and this one is made in 90. So, one year difference, and there we the CRT, shielded deflection coil, in there, in there is flyback, it's connected to a tube, they got the HT output. It's a writer for that paper which came out. Small implosion band. And here we got the high voltage stuff. It's a transformer. Small transformer which charges up the capacitor. And that's the relay. I took that plastic cover off and now you can see much better. This capacitor. Transformer relay. Here we got this board. Transistor heatsink. 
and that's some kind of transformer I think so this is a controller board this is current limiting resistors this is the negative part of the capacitor which connects into it and that's the positive part of the capacitor and then with a high voltage relay And jumpers. This both white wires goes out to the handles. And that's the rotor switch. We got some wires which goes out. To and here we got the other part of it, the underside. Here's the power supply. Pretty straightforward. You got some transformers in there, some transistors and capacitors. And yes. Maybe notice this conductive layer. They are sprayed on this plastic. And here we got the main board. Lots of awesome electronics there. We got some programmable chips and small oscillator. Eight megahertz. Some logic gates, the NOT gate, an AND gate. That's an AND gate, not an AND. And some other ones. Lots of digital circuits on this side. The 74123, don't know what it is. Some of these programmable ones here we got more analog electronics and it's a circuit that I just used that's connected to that that thing there there's this connector in the front uh, first find there it is here we got the wires goes down to this circuit board. Some op amps and isolation transformers. So opticouplers and this isolated from this other board. There were some more wires going out to some connectors. Some kind of backup battery. Some special devices, don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of inductors. And lots of capacitors. And this one, all this part here, as you can see, it's actually a empty space under it. Then we can connect a battery, a big battery, to which makes this uh, defibrillator to a portal defibrillator. So as you can see here with the screw, I'm going to open that up, take it out, and of course there's no battery inside there. Yes, maybe notice this one, you can take away the battery easily without soldering. No battery connection.
Yes, and here we got the last nice bit. Here's the top lid, which comes up, to, up here, of course. And as you can see, it's a pretty big resistor. It's a test resistor. So when you want to test this defibrillator, defibrillator uh, those handles in these two, of course, always have that. And it was on the test load of 50 joules that will discharge it into that resistor. And this. Then we got a one ohm resistor, and as you can see, something did go pop inside there, and that's why we had to throw this thing away. Something did go pop there, as you can see, some black stuff. And it's a one ohm resistor. That's some kind of op amp. And it feeds back a, some kind of signal into a high voltage board. It's a pretty big resistor, 49 ohms. Let's connect to one of these. And the other one connects to the other one. So this one actually works, so before I take the high voltage side apart, I want to blow up some motherboards with it, some dead motherboards, and of course I want to try to make the motherboard work again, put some live life back into them, so I need to defibrillate them a bit, and they maybe work. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> See what happens. Thanks for watching. I will do that later.